Hello, my name is David Mahalik. I'm an engineer here at Fort Defiance Industries. In this video, we are going to talk about replacing the battery in the PLC. So before this video happened, you know, this PLC was removed from the electrical panel on the sterilizer main unit. A couple things to do before you remove it, record the cycle count. It's always good to keep track of how many cycles have been run on the sterilizer. So if you go to the status screen, you can record how many cycles were run. And then when we reinstall this, we can press on that number and change that number to the amount of cycles um, that were previously run. So it kind of keeps a running count of the cycles. The battery that's in here is a lithium ion coin battery. It's very important to use the correct replacement part. So don't make substitutions for this battery. You're going to want to dispose of it with, in accordance with all state and local, federal, um, all regulations. Um, there's, it, it can pose an environmental hazard, so you're going to want to dispose of it as you should. And yeah, once, once this is removed out of the electrical panel, you can do most of the work just on a tabletop. So, this manual is, this procedure is in the manual. And so first, what we're going to do is we're going to remove the four screws on the back of the PLC. So there's four screws in the corners. Just that Phillips head screwdriver. And then we're going to remove the back cover. Now you'll see the back input output board. It can be a little difficult to get this up. So you'll see in the manual it gives you some tips, but these pins right here, that's what's connecting this board to the rest of the PLC. So if you kind of put your thumbs on there and you pull up on the inputs and the outputs and kind of work it loose just being as careful as possible there once you have it worked up you're going to press down on this edge right here to remove it the rest of the way so just kind of work it up and the input output board you can set to the side <coughs> If you happen to move any of the little side trim pieces, you can put those back in place because they do kind of slide up and down. Then you're going to see the coin battery in the middle and just be careful not to touch anything else. All right now, carefully remove the battery. Sometimes helps. You'll see this tab that's attached on the back, pressing on the middle of the battery. If you put your finger on the back and press down, and lift up on the front with the flathead and kind of work it out. So there's the batteries removed and here in a second we'll show you how to reassemble and put the battery back in. Okay, so after you've disposed of your old battery properly with all local regulations you are going to reinstall the new one. The positive side of the battery is going to go up. To double check you'll see a positive side a positive marking on the tab, you'll see a negative marking on the bottom of the battery holder. So you're just going to slide this in, kind of easy if you slide it from the side there, and it'll snap in place, and it'll be nice and snug. Now you're going to replace the input output board. Make sure all your trim pieces are in, in order. Kind of like to look to the side to make sure all the pins are lined up. Once all the pins are lined up, you can start to press down on the inputs and outputs. And then it'll seat. It'll be kind of flush with the ed these two edges. And now it's fully seated. Next, you're going to place the back cover back on. 
You're going to replace the four screws. Tighten those down. Now that the battery is back in place, you're going to reinstall this per the instructions in the manual. Well, there's also a video about removing and replacing your PLC that you can follow to reinstall this into the sterilizer main unit. For the rest of this procedure, this PLC for you would be reinstalled back into your system, back into your sterilizer main unit. I'm going to show you tabletop just because it's a lot easier to show you how to insert the SD card. So once you've applied power to the system, since you replaced that battery, what it did is it reset the internal memory. So it's going to say no user screens to display. That's going to show up. So what you're going to want to do is out of your sterilizer accessory bag, you're going to pull out your SD card. There is a little extender if you want to use that. You're going to pull out the micro SD. And when this is installed into your sterilizer, you're going to have the letters facing you on the SD card. You're going to insert it to this memory, little memory slot. It's a blind insertion when it's installed the sterilizer, so it's a little difficult, but you can kind of slide your hand in there. You're going to insert until you feel a little click and hear it, and you know it's been inserted. Now, we got to update a few things on the sterilizer now that the internal memory has been reset. So, first, we're going to press the system button. And then we're going to arrow down to the set screen. Press the enter button. And we're going to change <clears throat> the update time. So we're going to arrow down to update time and press enter. And we're going to change this to 47. So 47. Press enter. All right. So now the screen update time has been changed. So I can press enter. Or excuse me. I can press escape now to get out of changing this update time. So escape. Now. The reason I put that SD card in there is because I have to reload the program onto the PLC because again I reset it since I removed the battery. So I am going to arrow down to removable media, which is the next one in this list. I'm going to press the enter button. And now I can see what is stored on that SD card. I want the latest program, which in this case is 1043. So I'm going to arrow down to 104.3 and I'm going to choose enter. It's going to say load application, are you sure? Press OK. A little time clock will come up as it loads the program. Now, what you'll see is anytime your battery runs out, which can happen every about five years, the battery should last about five years, you know, your PLC may be responding slowly, it may say real-time clock error, the screens may, may load slowly. There's a couple symptoms that you know that the battery's bad and that you'll need to be, that you will need to replace it. So, after it loads all the parts of the program, a screen will say place in run mode question mark and you'll press OK. You'll also see the version so you can check and make sure that you've installed the correct version. Again, always before you do PLC maintenance, it's good to record your previous version and just keep that in your maintenance log. So we're going to press OK. <clears throat> And now the confirm setup screen comes up where you can reset all your parameters 
like normal. Time, date, unit ID. You can do your barometric pressure setup. You can press confirm and you're back to your main menu. You can also go to the status and you can update your cycle count. If you previously had a few hundred cycles on your old PLC, if you want to keep a running count, you can press that and say at 200 cycles, 288, then I can keep track of how many cycles have been run on this sterilizer main unit. Press enter and now I know how many cycles have been run. So that's it for replacing the battery. And again, this procedure is in the manual, so you can follow it step by step. Thank you very much.